Today, I'm gonna to show you six different ways that you can customize your Windows 10 taskbar. Stick around. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. So yeah, today we're gonna to cover six different ways that you can go in and kind of customize your Windows 10 taskbar from creating different shortcuts to accessing different project files or different applications. So with that being said, let's go ahead and hop on over to the computer and show you how it's done. So the first trick that I'm gonna show you how to uh, customize your Windows 10 start menu is simply by doing something called pinning or unpinning your applications to your taskbar. Now this can be done uh, one of three different ways. The first way is if your application is open just like this, so I've got Adobe Premiere open, you can come on down to the taskbar down here and you can see that we have the program open. Now this does only apply to the primary monitor. So if you have a multi-monitor setup, this is only gonna work or only at least gonna show up on the primary monitor's taskbar. So essentially what you're gonna do is come on down to the application, you're gonna right click it, and you have an option that has a little thumbtack next to it that says pin to taskbar. Once you do that, and even if you close the application, so if we close Premiere Pro, you can see that Premiere is still pinned to the taskbar. Now, of course, the other option is to go into your start menu. Typically things are in alphabetical order, so you may not see it right on the top. You may need to scroll a little bit through the list to find it, but essentially any application in your computer or on your computer should be able to be pinned to the taskbar. You're just gonna find it. So we'll just do the uh, Forza Horizon 4. So if you right click on it, you can also pin it to the start menu, but we're gonna click on more, uh, hover over more. Again, same thumbtack, you can left click on pin to taskbar and you'll see that the Forza Horizon uh, game has now been pinned to the taskbar and I can quickly access it from there. The third option, is to just drag and drop. So if we go back to the start menu, let's just do the Adobe, we'll do Adobe After Effects here. You can just click and hold your left mouse button, drag it down to the taskbar and release. And you can see that once you release that it pins After Effects or whatever application it is that you used onto the taskbar. Now, if at any point you feel like your taskbar has become cluttered or you have too many on there, you wanna kind of clean it up. All you need to do is right click on each one that you want to remove and left click on where it says unpin from taskbar. Once you do that, it's gonna unpin it from the taskbar and it will no longer show up on that taskbar. Number two is customizing and using something called a jump list. Typically any application that has to do with multiple projects or individual files or things like that that are frequently accessed is gonna have something called a jump list. And this allows you to jump to those specific projects very quickly. So on this uh, Premiere Pro down here, in the left hand on the taskbar, you can see that I've got it pinned to the taskbar, but if I were to right click it, you can see that I have a bunch of different projects that are included in the jump list. Now, most of the time the jump list is automatically going to populate with your most recent projects, but if you want to specifically save one or keep it in that uh, jump list, you can click on the little thumbtack right here and it's gonna automatically pin that to the list. That way, no matter what happens or what changes happen, to that uh, jump list or any recent files, the one that you have pinned or the, the projects or files that you have pinned are gonna remain kind of as a favorite and those will no longer change. So jump lists are really easy to use and they're really handy if you want to be able to jump to a project very quickly if you're accessing it very frequently. So the next thing that I'm gonna show you is something called a toolbar. It's very similar to a jump list, but a toolbar is essentially just a shortcut that you can add to your taskbar in order to access maybe a different folder on the computer. Now to do this again, right click on your taskbar, come up to the toolbars at the very top here, and you have the option to choose an address, you can do a link, you can have it linked to your desktop, or you can do a new toolbar. And if we left click on new toolbar, you can see that it's gonna bring up an explore window where it's gonna want to navigate to a specific folder on your computer. So maybe I want to have access to the uh, behind the frame media drive, this is where I store all like my photos and my videos, things like that. If I click on that and hit select folder, it's gonna say, okay, you've selected that and it's gonna put a toolbar down here on the bottom right hand side with a little arrow that I can click on. And then it's gonna have access to all of my different types of uh, folders that are within that drive. So this is just a really cool way to add again, a toolbar or a shortcut to the taskbar so you can gain access to a folder or file very quickly. The next thing I've got is just simply resizing or moving the taskbar. You can do this by uh, changing the overall size of it. You can move the taskbar around the basically the four edges of your screen 
And to do that, all you do is right click on the taskbar, click on the taskbar settings. It's gonna load up a new menu where all of your taskbar settings are managed within this section here. The one that we're looking for is taskbar location on the screen. You can choose this or drop that menu down and you have the option to move it to the left. You can see it moved it over to the left. You can do the top if you prefer it on the top. You've got the right option, which is over there on the right. And then of course, you've got on the bottom as well. The next thing is, is just simply uh, changing the overall size of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out of this menu here. I'm going to right click on the taskbar here and you're gonna wanna make sure that the taskbar is unlocked. So uh, you can see that there is a check mark next to lock all taskbars. We're gonna left click on that and it's going to unlock that taskbar. So if we right click it again, you can see that there is no longer a check. Now, if we hover over the top of the taskbar, you'll see that we have a little double arrow allowing us to adjust the size of that taskbar. And of course, this will make changes no matter where it is on the screen. So if you have it on the left or the top or the right, you'll be able to adjust this as well. The only thing that you need to make sure that you do is make sure that you've right clicked it and unlocked it in order to be able to move that. So if it is locked, you will not be able to resize it. If it's unlocked, you will be able to do so. So again, just make sure that's there and then you can just drag and drop. And once you have it saved wherever it is that you want it or the size that you want, you just let it go, right click on it and then you can lock it again and you won't be able to change that until you unlock it and resize the taskbar. The next thing is just changing the overall icon size of the taskbar. So I'm actually gonna reset this back to where I had on my taskbar, bring that down to about there. I'm gonna go in, again, relock it so I don't end up changing it again. But to change the icon side, all you're going to do is again, go into the taskbar settings. So we're gonna right click, left click on taskbar settings. This little window is going to pop up here and we're just gonna look for the option that allows us to change the icon size. So if we come in here, we've got automatically high, that's not what we're looking for. Right here where it says use small taskbar buttons is the setting that you're gonna be looking for. Once you toggle that switch on, you'll notice the icon size on the taskbar is going to move to a smaller icon size. But the caveat of this is if you look down here at the date or the time, you no longer have the date next to it. So if I were to switch that back to the considered large icons, you'll see that we have the time on top with the date right underneath it. And it's just an easier at a glance. However, if you have these small taskbar buttons, let me re-enable that. You can see that we have the, the time still down here. And if you hover over it, that's how you can obtain the date, but the date is no longer shown. It just adds an extra step uh, to actually find the date. So if you like to have the small icons, just know that once you do that, the date is gonna disappear, but you'll still be able to find it. Otherwise, you can just turn these small taskbar buttons off again. That'll result back in the larger buttons and you'll have your date back underneath your time. And the last thing that I'm gonna show you with uh, customizing your Windows 10 toolbar, probably the most fun, is being able to change the color or transparency or overall appearance of the taskbar. To do this, simply right click on an empty space on the desktop, come on down to personalize, and on the left-hand side, we're gonna want to choose colors. Now from here, you have a range of different options in here. You've got choose your color. You can do a dark mode, you can do a light mode. So if we change it to light, you can see that the taskbar and the window has changed to a light mode. I certainly prefer the dark mode, so I'm gonna switch it back to that. Uh, but you also do have the uh, ability to turn on transparency effects. So if I turn that off, you can see that the taskbar becomes more of a solid black. But if I turn it back on, you've got a little bit of transparency on there. It might be a little bit hard to see, but you can see kind of the stars and things like that behind the taskbar. So you have that option to turn that on and off as well. Uh, recent colors, typically when you choose a wallpaper or background, the theme of Windows is going to alter or to kind of complement that uh, specific wallpaper. However, you can always go in and choose a color that they have in their palette, or if you wanna choose a custom color, you can click on that as well. Show accent colors on the following surfaces. I have this currently disabled, but if you click on the Start Taskbar and Action Center, if we click on that, you can see that the taskbar has now changed to the color that has a checkbox in it. So if I were to actually click on this gray here, you can see that it turned the taskbar gray. If I were to click on the orange, once again, it turned it to that orange type of color. You can also enable this to the title bars and window borders. I currently have that turned off because I don't really care to have that. However, I do like to have it on the taskbar and start menu, so I will actually leave that one on. But again, you can go through and change whatever color it is that you want. Again, custom color 
we'll bring up this palette here. You can kind of just cycle through all of the different types of colors that you would like to have. Once you found whatever it is that you're looking for, you can uh, actually look at the RGB code as well as the hexadecimal right here as well. Uh, we'll click on done and you can see that that effect has now changed and it also applied that color into the recent color. So that's just a real quick way to go in and change the overall appearance of the taskbar. So there you have it, just a small list on how to customize your Windows 10 taskbar. There are tons of different ways that you can do it. This was just a small list that I compiled for you guys. There is a blog that does go along with this video, so be sure to check that out down in the video description. That is gonna wrap it up for this week's video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Again, I hope you got something out of it, you liked it. If you did, be sure to drop a like and subscribe for the YouTube algorithm. Help us grow our channel a little bit more. And uh, yeah, that's gonna wrap it up. So we will see you on the next one. Peace. Oh. Also, a announcement giveaway is being announced on Saturday, so be sure to tune in for that announcement right around 12 o'clock Mountain Time. We'll see you. Bye.